So that's my newest little air horn made of two pieces of PVC, a uh, little air fitting there, some black airline. I found that in the garbage. We've got sort of an RC can. Oh, and plenty of duct tape. And that just comes and hooks up to my little Harbor Freight compressor. That's very loud, though. This is an earlier horn I made using a medicine bottle, a balloon, and a piece of conduit. I'll blow that off with just my mouth. No homo, by the way. <clears throat> That's uh, not quite as loud, but it does sound really nice. Okay, I'm going to try to explain how an air horn works and how you can put one together now. It's pretty simple. Air horn's got the horn, which can, but doesn't need to you know, go like this, like a trumpet or something. It can go like that, but it doesn't need to. So on my horn, that would be the piece of conduit. And as you can see, it doesn't flare out. Then you've got the chamber, which goes like this. <clears throat> and that just, it allows air around the horn. So basically it's just a gap and it's sealed off at this end here. So on my horn that would be the medicine bottle. And as you can see it's sealed there. And then the most important part you've got the diaphragm which comes through here. And on mine that would be the balloon. So now what happens is there should be a hole here or somewhere and what happens is air comes in through here and then it can't get out here or here so what it's got to do is come through here and out the horn and what happens is the diaphragm vibrates on the horn and sends sound out it As the, uh, as the air flows through, it causes the diaphragm to vibrate <clears throat> and send the sound out. So the noise from the horn is actually the diaphragm vibrating, making sound waves. So how you can make one of these is you simply, you got to find two tubes of different sizes and you stick one through the end of the other and uh, seal it off. And then you just get a diaphragm, but you could use a balloon, a uh, latex glove, a pop can, um, I think some thin plastic would work. And uh, then you got to have the, um, these ends need to like fairly line up. You know, there can't be a big gap between the balloon and the horn or else it won't work, or the diaphragm and the horn. And uh, for the tubes, you could use a medicine bottle, a film canister, a straw, part of a pen, PVC pipe, um, an aluminum baseball bat with the ends cut off. And uh, to seal it up, duct tape works pretty good. And I mean, that's basically how to make an air horn. And then you can either just blow into it or hook it up to an air compressor or a can of like keyboard duster. And that's the basics of an air horn. So uh, you just got to try it out and experiment and uh, hopefully you find something you like.